What's up guys? Welcome to Draw School episode 12. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to draw feet. I am sorry that it's late. Like I said in my last video, I've been super busy, more busy than I usually am with all this craziness going on. Hopefully you guys are staying safe, but let's jump right into it. Bro, my intro. If I were to draw front facing feet, right? If you're looking at a foot facing us with the big toe on this side. Okay, so one thing, one trick I like to do for feet is I like to draw two circles. One for the heel and one for the front. So imagine like a shoe print. That's what I like to do to draw feet. And that would just be the bottom where the foot is on, all right? Then I would draw the heel going upwards, which your foot is obviously coming down like this. Your bone is attaching there to some other little bones here. And your foot is coming like this, plank down on the ground. Big toe, and then your other toes right here. So that's just how I would break it down, right? So I threw my circle there for my foot padding and for my heel. Then I started to build on top of it. So I have my leg coming down, my inside ankle, my outside ankle, which is a little higher because the bone is shaped like this. And you have the arch of the foot or the top of the foot, which is shaped like this. And the bottom of the foot, you know, draw your, your toes. Now your, your toes have three sections as well and <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you guys this but my my second toe is so long it probably goes out to here no lie like if my big toe goes to here my second toe goes all the way out here and then it goes down like that so I don't even want to draw my feet we're gonna just draw regular feet okay cool glad you guys are with me so let's say we put the toe there you know how I do the hands, same way. And then you just land the other toes here. All right, you got one, two, three, four, five. Five toes, guys. Five toes. They're gonna stick out of those holes there. Now, my big toe only looks like it has two sections, just like a thumb in your hand. Boom, big toe, only two sections. Knuckle there, bottom, then these ones. And you got your webbing as well. Knuckle there, down, and then a small knuckle down here. Another toe. So you know you got webbing, knuckles, and all that feet. They come in all shapes and sizes. We know this. So that would be the front view. That quick came out like that. All right. And all you got to do then is make sure you remember the planes. So like the front of your toes down to here so I would draw those circles like that just so I can put in my my toenails because they would start there 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 your first knuckle your big knuckle your toes and you have your front facing foot again always use reference guys but that is just how I make up a foot just from from my head if I have to because we are teaching you guys how to draw your own characters that is the goal, always. Draw your own characters from reference. Okay, for a side foot, if I start with that, that I guess my pro tip for this video, to add these circles first in the bottom, the base, where it's gonna land, where your foot's gonna sit on the ground. That's usually what I do, All right? So imagine this as a footprint with shoes on. My next step would be to imagine the leg coming in, I'll just draw a leg, fake leg, knowing that the heel goes a little bit further back, knowing that the padding for the foot 
will be around here, knowing that my toe will start here. If this is the inside of the foot, the big toe will be there, right? So I'm just kind of picturing it out in my head, not using reference right now, just going based off what I know. Teach you guys the basics. There's an arch there, right? There's an ankle here. Now this is the inside, so it's a little smaller. It goes up. This is your Achilles. See, there's like a little hump here, like boom, hump, down. It's very subtle. You try exaggerating to see if it works for you. And then, so let's say I cut off the foot there because it's a side one, you're probably only gonna see more of the big toe. There goes the first section to the knuckle and then it goes down to the ground. So you have a little bit of hang and a big toe. First section, second section of the big toe. All the other ones have three sections, three little small sections. And from this angle, you can probably see like maybe the top of the middle or the next toe, but then they all kind of disappear into the distance. I would, I would throw the line like this, coming down, up, and then back this way. Same thing for here. Cause you always have a little bit more, a little bit more padding towards the front of your nails. There it is, there is a side foot. Now you guys see how putting that padding on the ground first is helpful. When somebody showed me that some time back, I was like, wow, this is so helpful to like just picture how my foot is gonna land. Now it's it's even helpful when you're doing crazy poses and stuff too. Like for example, let's say you're drawing a foot coming at you, like somebody's kicking, right? So this is a foot coming at you, like the bottom of it. And then you have like this padding down here. And you can probably put some wrinkles down here because it's flexing. And then you would have, this is the top, but always imagine it as a 3D or like a block. So obviously if there was a block, it would be this. And you would have the front of it. Big toe there. Big, smaller toe, smaller toe, smaller toe. Do we have five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we do. Now, if this was my middle toe, it would be out here, but that's a different story. All right, so we have straight edge, boom, boom. Two sections for the big toe. And these are still pretty long toes. I might be just used to looking at my own feet. You probably have shorter, shorter toes. Your reference might have shorter toes. That's why you should use reference. That was me showing you that even this <laughs> would work for that. Your ankle would be out here like so. And your leg would be doing whatever it's doing in whatever you wanna make the person doing over there that way. Let's do a back of the foot because there's a interesting thing going on with the Achilles. So for this, you can do the same trick with the foot. It's just, you gotta do like ellipses like this because it's super in perspective. So inside of the foot, guys, like that, and like that, All right? So let's imagine this, drawing this up from this base. We have the heel that goes up like this. And we have this part of the foot that goes around like that, it connects there this part of the foot that goes up into the leg. You have your ankle here, popping out. Ankle here, and this side is a little higher, because it goes like that, the bone. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. This line goes up, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, this would really be the toe this time on this side. The Achilles, is attached here. So you can draw some lines like this. You guys have probably seen this on somebody's foot if you're looking at it, if you're paying attention. Um, even on your own foot, you probably have felt it as you're putting your shoes on or something. It's like a tendon that's attached like this and it helps to flex your feet. If you 
injure that, you're not going to be able to walk very well. So take care of those Achilles. Take care of those Achilles. Kind of enjoying drawing, drawing for you right now. I never really do too many feet drawings because I'm always focused on every other part of the character. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I think I'm just going to do one more. I think you guys get an idea. If you don't, then, you know, just let me know. Maybe I'll draw two, two more quick ones. Okay, for this one, let's do kicking, like somebody's kicking down, all right? So I would start like this, again, with the base of the foot and the heel. I would add the outside. I would draw the inside. So we're kicking, this would be the bridge of your foot, the heel, and I would draw, you could draw the ankle there. Now I'm drawing things in different orders because I don't draw feet that much. So I don't really have a specific order I do things, but you guys can draw however you want, whatever order, I don't have any preference for this specifically. All right, so now I can put the toe there, or stop the toe there. Or the little toes. And you see how sometimes I break down the toes its own section and then the other four toes are their own section. That's kind of awful. If you guys want to try that, just because then you can break down the rest of these like that. Once you break them down, because in reality, if you're drawing characters, your feet aren't going to be the main thing you're looking at. Might not want to add that much detail to them unless you're just drawing feet and that's like the subject of your drawing you just want to make sure your feet look correct that way they don't draw attention from the rest of your drawing so you guys see what i'm saying here this would all basically be in the shadow because it is underneath the foot boom and i drew that small again maybe i'm not gonna draw in small today Let's draw somebody wearing heels. Okay, so heels are weird. Just, it's just facts. The base of the heel would be here. There's a big old curve. And then, or yeah, the base of the foot is here, or the padding, and then the heel is up here. You have this big old curve like that, which makes the foot kind of like do that. Now, I don't know if that makes sense yet, but it will. And then your foot goes like that. Yeah, I know. But that's how I would start it. Let's see, okay. So the heel, let's draw the heel itself. The heel is like one shape, right? This, then you have the edge. Going up. Like that. Pointy part of the heel going down to the ground. And you'll probably see the other side of it. Like that. Right? So that is the base of the heel. Then you're gonna draw the foot on the that. Top of your foot. It goes like that. Here, let me erase the unnecessary lines, but we'll keep them light so you guys can see what's going on here. The heel is planted here. Then, so basically the foot ends here, the arc is here, and then the toes fill out the rest of the area. So we have the rest of this area, bigger, smaller, 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 until they disappear, right? And then usually you have some support, some heel support here. Here, you know, 
still that's unstable don't know how to do it i would i would like some support here myself <laughs> uh, boom ta-da that is high draw heels i think that's it on feet it's not much else to talk about i'm just gonna bring in a reference and draw it and i will talk to you guys when i'm done it guys that is how i draw feet hopefully you guys you learned a lot if you did don't forget to subscribe hit like send me some comments and i have a winner for the illo sketchbook and the winner is ivy designs you want an illo sketchbook we just have to wait for them to be in stock okay I think next time when they come in stock, I'm just going to go ahead and buy what I need for the year. That way I can have it for you guys. And then when they run out, I still got them. All right. Well, hopefully you guys learned a lot. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. <laughs>